pay scale. It is difficult to manage salaries for all people in the company. Therefore, firms create pay scales. Thanks to them, you can impact salaries of almost everybody with a few simple parameters. Let's start with a short definition. By pay scale, we mean the system that determines salaries for every position in the company. In some cases, you may actually have a pay scale only covering part of the company. However, it is recommended to have a pay scale for each and every job position. You also have to bear in mind that given a different naming of um, job positions in the company, you will not uh, do it for each and every meaning, but you will somehow try to group them and you will create pay scale for this limited number of categories. So let's have a look at a few examples so it is clear what we have in mind. So here we have a pay scale for a consulting firm. This is covering only the professional staff and we show the following positions. So business analyst, junior consultant, senior consultant, manager and principal. And as you can see, we show it with brackets how much specific position can earn. So as a business analyst, you can earn from 70 to 80,000 per year, then junior consultants 90 to 100, senior consultants from 130 to 151, and so on and so forth. So for every position, there is a bracket showing the minimal and maximal salary. You can also show it in a bit different manner with two columns. So we show here exactly the same data. However, the presentation is a bit different. And finally, in some cases, you may have a pay scale simplified. So there is no bracket. There is just one level. So as a business analyst, your basic salary will be 75,000 and everybody on this position will have to earn this amount of money. So if you're recruiting somebody and he wants to earn more, you cannot give him more because you're limited by the pay scale for this position. So as you can see, to sum up, you first have to name the categories you will estimate later on in your pay scale, then assign each and every job position to a specific uh, category. After that, estimate what should be the salary on each and every level. And finally, put it into practice and live by this. In other words, if somebody wants to earn more, he basically has to move to a different category. He will not be able to earn more um, than the defined level or the brackets on a specific position.